Should you be learning WordPress in 2024? Wait, what? Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back and out and did it again one more time. Listen, today we're going to cover WordPress and should you be learning it in 2024? Does it make sense to you? Hear me out, right? Watch this video. You've seen the thumbnail. There's top paying jobs for WordPress. Yes, <laughs> it's not just capped at 50. First of all, whatever you heard about WordPress is probably true. And whatever you did hear about WordPress also could be fake, okay? That's just how life is, right? Some people like certain things, some people don't like it, right? So you're gonna see the positives and you're gonna see the negatives, right? You have to decide if it makes sense to you. Now, what I'm gonna give you here is information. Just give you the pure knowledge and, and the info as quickly as possible so you can make a informed decision if you wanna go in and start learning WordPress in 2024. I mean, WordPress is pretty much like 50% of the internet, okay? It has about 810 million websites right now as we speak that are using WordPress. It's really like 43%. But the truth is that there's a lot of companies and businesses, small to medium size, and even enterprise level companies that use WordPress. This is not something that you say, well, only you know the mom and pop shops use WordPress. It's like, no. There's a lot of companies that use WordPress as their content management system. And you can take a look right here. Like, look, TikTok uses WordPress, Bitly, Google, Fandom, <laughs> StripChat, <laughs> Tabula, Outbrain, Canva.com, and of course, WordPress.com, right? So there's a lot of companies that use WordPress. And if you are one of those developers that are struggling to find their first job opportunity, you might be wanting to look into WordPress. Believe it or not, a lot of the developers that you see now working at top major companies and even influencers here on YouTube, they start at companies working with WordPress, okay? That pipeline hasn't been closed, okay? People be thinking that just because Node.js came out or Python is popular or Rust is new and whatever is out there, that these job opportunities just poof, went away. And believe it or not, one of the main reasons that you should pay attention to this is because no one else is paying attention to this, okay? So there's less competition for you and more opportunities. Small businesses to medium-sized businesses are the ones that's going to give you your first job opportunity much faster than any big corporation or big tech company that you want to work at. So again, if you're looking to get paid for skills that you have and actually build experience, this could be a great way for you. Now, let's take a look at the job market. Let's take a look at the freelance market. Let's take a look at the opportunities that's out here. In the WordPress ecosystem, there's so many different ways that you can make income and build experience. I'll give you an example, right? Content editing, which basically means managing a website, being a webmaster. The website's already built. A developer created the WordPress theme, right, and set up the website. And then someone has to go in and manage that website on a daily basis. Let's say you work at a university or maybe you work at a company like this one where this is called Willoughby Industries. They're looking for a digital strategist, right? And you might say, what the hell is that? pretty much is a content editor. All they really need is for someone that actually knows WordPress, understands the platform, help them manage their website, add some pages, add some images, right? Making sure that whatever is needed for that site using WordPress gets done. Okay, this is like the lowest tier position that you could get. I've seen people come through codingphase.com, my website where we train students on how to learn how to code to get jobs. Um, basically, people come in in one month, learn content editing, and by the next month, I've seen people actually get hired. So within two months, they're already working while some people's here on the internet punching the air like, I can't find a job. But you're missing opportunities like this. You're a JavaScript master, a React entrepreneur, <laughs> you know, a Node.js uh, Pokemon master, right? But you're missing something so simple as this that you could have been working a long time ago. Yes, you want to flex your full stack developer skills. Guess what? You can do that. WordPress allows you to actually go in there and create plugins, right? Um, treat it like a full stack application. It's an ecosystem, okay? You're not just capped on the 
man, you're only going to make forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000. Guys, there's always sweatshops. There's sweatshops everywhere in every language, okay? But there's also a lot of opportunities just like this one where, you know, they're willing to pay $120,000 to $165,000 for someone who has experience with WordPress and can actually deliver a full stack WordPress developer slash engineer. Have you heard of that? <laughs> Right. Some people be acting like this is not real. This is real. Okay. I know a lot of guys that are making top dollar with. And if you look into the world of like, you know, the type of jobs that's out here, you're going to see a lot of contract work. You're going to see a lot of uh, small to medium sized businesses, creative agencies, right? They are hiring for this positions, this type of skill. And if you don't know it, you're missing out on it. Now, what's really cool about this is that freaking 80 something million freaking websites is out there right and people gonna need somebody to update them guess what this is where the game of freelancing comes in this is a skill that you can actually use and build something from scratch for a company or maintain it there's a lot of skills out here that we consider top tier uh, skills that in reality right you can only use at top tier companies, meaning that you can only do those type of work or type of projects inside of big companies that scale. But this type of skill is something that this is the everyday chiripiando. That's what we call in DR. It's like, hey, you want to make a little quick 500? You want to make an extra 2000? Like, shoot, this is a skill that can bring you that extra bread. Okay, so why would you say no to this? Okay, especially for those of you guys that want to travel the world, those of you guys that want to be remote developers, like WordPress is one of those things that really could get you there. Okay, there's people that's making top bank with WordPress just on fiber alone. Okay, so the opportunities are there, and if you're not paying attention, you're missing out. So, yes, WordPress is not the most popular thing, it's not the most uh, I don't know, cool thing that you could go in and get some kudos and be like, hey guys, I'm a, I got three stars. I got, I'm a three star general from, you know, the WordPress land. It's like, <laughs> no one cares, right? But this is what's really cool about it. It's like, what do you want to do? You want to make money for yourself or do you want to be impressing a couple of dweebs on the internet? Like, get your money up. Get your experience up. Some of you guys are out here with a lot of skills and still struggling to find a job. Look at this easy positions. Look around you. Go for the low hanging fruit and start eating. Okay. What do you want to do this year? 2024. So yes, is WordPress worth it in 2024? I would say yes. If you're looking into this, pay attention to it, right? Just like I said, and look at the thumbnail. That's no cap. There's company paying a hundred something thousand dollars for WordPress developers because it's valuable. Okay. Every company needs a CMS system. They might be using Contentful. They might be using Shopify. They might be using Wix. They might be using WordPress. They might be using Webflow. They might be using whatever is out there, right? There's a million things. There's Duda. <laughs> And there's Duda developers, right? If you haven't heard of that one, Google it. <laughs> there's a lot of different type of CMS systems out there, okay? And a lot of tools that some of you guys have never heard of, but there's money to be made. So that's the real question. What do you want to do this year? Do you want to stay on the sideline or do you want to start just building things with practical tools that shit, 50% of the internet uses? It, it gotta be doing something right if the whole internet uses it right so again i'm gonna see you guys later it's your boy joe back at it again codingphase.com hopefully you like this video leave a like leave a comment tell me what you think you hate wordpress ill i'm not touching that whatever you want to do leave it in the comment section by the way guys if you haven't checked out my website man i'm telling you guys come through codingphase.com if you guys haven't checked it out I only focus on things that's going to get you results. I'm not here to give you the latest trendy thing. I'm looking at what's in the market, looking at the opportunities that can help my students 
come in and get a job and start making some money, right? A lot of the skills that we teach on codingphase.com are skills that you can use for working for a company and then reuse for yourself so you can make income independently. So if you're interested in this type of education, right? And you want to learn how to code, come try codingphase.com, okay? You got the monthly subscriptions and the diamond membership. You got the gold membership. Okay. Right now, today is the last day. We extended it because people keep on emailing me. Here you go. You got the diamond membership, $50 a month, a hundred plus courses, gives you access to every career path that's in here. Content editor, email developer, front end developer, PHP developer, React developer, Shopify theme developer. Okay. And we are also adding a new section. XR developer. So if you're interested in creating applications for the Vision Pro, right, for Apple or the MetaQuest 3, you might want to be paying attention to this. Coding Phase is one of the only platforms that's actually teaching this. Okay. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to see you guys later. It's your boy Joe. Peace.